Malignant hyperthermia. It is autosomal dominant. It means 50% of the offspring will be affected. This disorder can be lethal. If anything you need to remember about this topic is the dentrolene. The dentrolene is a life-saving drug that stops the release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum into the cell. It means it blocks the calcium. It's a calcium blocker. So it decreases the intracellular calcium and it stabilizes the sarcoplasmic reticulum. You can do other things like you can cool the patient, you can hydrate the patient, you can try to get the electrolyte balance, but the most important thing, the dentrolene sodium. So what happened here is the patient will get succinylcholine or halothane or other inhalation agent and that will trigger the initiation of malignant hyperthermia. So these anesthetic agents basically impair the function of the sarcoplasmic reticulum and calcium hemostasis. And we're going to discuss how this happens. But the condition associated with malignant hyperthermia are usually the central core disease, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, arthrogribosis, maybe osteogenesis imperfecta. Usually diagnosed during anesthesia or by family history. There is no really special simple test for it. You can do muscle biopsy and testing. It's only done in certain few centers. So because there is a problem in thionidine receptor, there will be uncontrolled release of calcium. So you get sustained muscle contraction, rigidity, spasm, muscle damage, myoglobinuria, rhabdomyolysis, acute renal failure. Because of all this hypermetabolic activity, you would get the classic hyperthermia. That's why they call it malignant hyperthermia. It is the classic findings, but it's not really a good sign because it is late. You can also find metabolic acidosis, hyperkalemia, which may give the patient dysrhythmia. You can have marked CO2 production. The CO2 production increases. You can have increased end tidal CO2, which you can explain it. It's unexplained. It is the earliest sign and probably the most specific and sensitive finding. So that is the one that anesthesia will find and that will probably be the earliest one that will indicate the patient may have malignant hyperthermia. How this condition happen? What's going on? What is the physiology of that? You probably need to know three things. The sarcolemma, which is the membrane of the cell, and the T-tubule, which is like a divot into the cell or a cleft. And the sarcoplasmic reticulum, it is storage, storage for calcium. It's a container of the calcium when the muscle is relaxed. At that sarcoplasmic reticulum, there is a large protein embedded into the wall of the sarcoplasmic reticulum and serve as a calcium release channel for the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So after the muscle contracts, the calcium is taken up by the sarcoplasmic reticulum. At that point, the muscle relaxes, it doesn't need any more calcium. The calcium is picked up by the sarcoplasmic reticulum, the storage site. So when there is dysregulation of this process because the anadine receptor is defective, 
then grenadine triggers the release of calcium to the inside of the cell and the calcium is released in large quantities than normal. So the intracellular concentration of calcium increases substantially and you will have sustained contraction of these muscles. And that's how you get the malignant hyperthermia. Thank you very much. I hope I explained it.